With just over a month until the final votes are cast, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump continue their swing through battleground states. Harris visits Michigan today, while Trump heads to Georgia and North Carolina. ABC's Christian Cordero has the latest from Washington. Today, the presidential candidates are closing in on their final month on the campaign trail, both picking up notable endorsements along the way. One notable Republican joining Vice President Harris in Wisconsin. I have never voted for a Democrat, but this year I am proudly casting my vote for Vice President Kamala Harris. Former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney, the daughter of Vice President Dick Cheney, was once the third highest ranking House Republican before going on to co-chair the January 6th committee. Trump campaigning for manufacturing jobs in Michigan, firing back at Cheney on Fox News. Well, Liz Cheney lost for Congress. Uh, she was terrible. Liz Cheney is a stupid war hawk. Cheney has repeatedly called Trump a threat to democracy for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Harris also calling Trump a threat. The tragic truth that we are facing in this election for president of the United States is that there is actually an honest question about whether one of the candidates will uphold the oath to the Constitution of the United States. Also set to join Harris on the campaign trail, former President Barack Obama headed on a battleground blitz in the final month. And Bruce Springsteen also weighing in with his endorsement for Harris. Donald Trump is the most dangerous candidate for president in my lifetime. Trump, who has previously admitted to losing the 2020 election, is back to repeating false claims that he won. We did great in 2016. A lot of people don't know we did much better in 2020. We won. We won. We did win. It was a rigged election. It was a rigged election. This weekend, Trump returns to Butler, Pennsylvania, holding a rally at the site of the first assassination attempt. Running mate J.D. Vance is set to join Trump, along with the family of the man killed in the July shooting. Elon Musk, who has endorsed Trump, says he'll be there, too. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.